So I ended up saving the best for last. These are tamales in hoja de plátano, which happen to be my favorite. So I'm going to show you how I make the masa because it is a little different. For this batch, I'm using 10 pounds of masa to make tortilla, and you can usually find this masa at your local tortilleria. For every pound of masa, you're going to need half a pound of lard. So if I'm using 10 pounds of masa, obviously it is 5 pounds of lard. Technique doesn't change though. You're also going to whip up that lard to make sure your tamales are nice and fluffy. And guys, don't forget to season up your masa. Just because you have a nice, moist, fluffy tamal doesn't mean it's going to be unseasoned. Add some salt, add some chicken bouillon. If you think it's perfect in salt, trust me, add more salt because it's going to need it. You're going to add your pork broth or your chicken broth into your masa. It's nice and spreadable like this. If you're making the red pork tamales, make sure you add some of that red sauce into the masa so it can be colorful and flavorful. And for the green one, same concept, just add your green sauce. May not change the color, but it is going to give it more flavor. Once it's nice and smooth, then you're ready to start prepping all of your banana leaves because it's time to make lots of tamales.